Well, we're back on Morning Coffee or at RVN TV, and I think we have a hot topic right now, Corey. We do have a hot topic, and this one's really important to me because you know how I'm a dog lover. Okay. So we have Jonna Devereaux. She's a CPN, clinical pet nutritionist, nutritionist and director of nutrition and wellness for Bow Wow Labs and the owner of Fetch Rhode Island. Uh, jo Jonah, good morning. Thank Welcome. you for being on the show. Tell me about what's going on with, with our pets. You know how dear, dear they are to me. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, as you all know, we are getting so much benefit. Um, I'm looking for silver linings from COVID-19 and some of the silver linings that I'm finding is being able to spend more time with my pets, yeah. um, which is a blessing for me, but I think for my dogs, it might be a little bit of a curse <laughs> because I'm always around now when they're not sure when to sleep or what to do, right? Yeah, yeah. So what, what do you suggest as far as like trying to keep them occupied and stimulated during this? Because you know, we're working from home, we're watching TV, we're snacking, you know, any tips that way? Yeah, I mean, it's really important to keep them mentally and physically engaged as much as possible. And I mean, it, there's no harm in us taking a walk with them outside the area. You know, it's becoming warmer, yeah. getting fresh air in our lungs. Um, so beyond taking them outside for long walks, I'm a big fan of mental stimulation, um, specifically by way of puzzle toys and also with long-term chews. So in case you don't know, a long-term chew is basically anything um, that takes more than 15 minutes for your dogs to chew. So uh, bully sticks are a great... Yeah, yeah. Um, example of that. Love um, the problem with bully sticks is that most dogs love these so much when they get to that last inch, they swallow them because they no longer have the ability to hold it in their mouth and chew on it. So they just swallow it, mm -hmm. um, which is obviously a huge concern and potential for a choking hazard and also um, a potential for intestinal obstruction, okay. um, which at this point in time, you know, especially now we wouldn't want to be rushing our dogs to an emergency room where we can't even go in with them. So um, one of the great inventions that Bow Wow Labs um, has is this great little safety device called the Bully Buddy. And what the Bully Buddy does is it allows you to give a bully stick to your dog safely. Um, so you literally take the bully stick and you insert it into the Bully Buddy and you twist this little knob here, mm -hmm. and what it does is it holds it in place. So I can't pull it out, my dogs can't pull it out. Um, they can rest their paws here, they can chew happily, and this is going to provide them with that mental stimulation that, um, you know, because they have to navigate how to eat this long-term chew. And another great thing about long-term chews um, is that it also exercises the jaw muscles yeah. and it releases serotonin and dopamine, two really important neurotra neurotransmitters um, that support calmness and a good mental state. So when a dog is chewing, mm -hmm. they're actually helping to calm themselves at the same time. So um, it's a really great thing if you have a, a meeting, uh, a conference call that you have to be on, or you actually just need to like do work and you yeah. can't do it on your computer, <laughs> on your lap with two dogs snuggled around you. It's a great thing to get yourself a little bit of distance um, and know that they're they're happy and satisfied. Well, I think you just made yourself three sales because my I know my three dogs will love those things. It, you yeah. would laugh watching my dogs trying to navigate because my one boxer when he gets nervous when the other boxer sees the bully stick, so then he get he starts barking like that. So if they each yeah. have their own, that'll be great. I, I'm looking at some of the things that that you wrote, and you won a couple of awards. Can you tell me about that? Yes. Um, so. I was named a uh, trailblazer in the pet industry uh, in 2019 by Pets Plus Magazine. Congratulations. Um, I, my store, Fetch RI, was also just named one of America's coolest pet stores. So my store is a holistic pet boutique and supply store. Um, I really am a big fan of using all natural as much as possible and whenever possible. <clears throat> I'm also a big advocate of, you know, treats made in the USA, um, long-term chews, all of that stuff made in the USA, awesome. um, especially now, right? That's kind of what coronavirus is reminding us of that what we can get that's made in our country is the best. Um, and let's see, I was also actually just named uh, 2020 uh, Women of Influence in the pet industry. So, um, yeah, so. It's, Congratulations. Yeah, now, do, you, are fun. <laughs> do you ship <laughs> nationwide? You. Like, do you have a website people can go to to find these things? Um, so we have bowwowlabs.com, mm -hmm. uh, it's B-O-W-W-O-W-L-A-B-S, and that's where you can find a full array of okay. these products. Um, again, I can't 
tell you enough how much this bully buddy it actually has brought bully sticks back into my dog's lives i have two american staffordshire rescues yes. which are kind of the, yes. the loves of my life yeah um they change the trajectory of my life and so i would literally fall apart if something happened to them especially if it was because of something i gave them yeah um out of love and kindness so um diego my big boy uh <laughs> he's nine years old now about 90 pounds he wow. would swallow the end of the bully sticks yeah. and then continually vomit them back up to a point where i just was no longer comfortable yeah um and so now with this invention they're back in my dog's lives and they are extremely happy so BowellLabs.com is where you can get all of that. And they also have um, these amazing high value treats, all made in the USA, you know, uh, or Can you talk about those? Cause they're not, salmon. they're not quite in the view of the camera. Those treats, oh, I want our, our viewers to be able to see those. Yeah, what are they? I'll like Vanna White it for you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> these are, um, they're actually coin shaped treats. The coin, um, okay. Which are, I can show you, they're actually really cool because they're these little discs. So they break up really easily and dogs love them. Okay. Um, so they're really high value. They don't break up in your pockets. You can take them on a walk with you if your dog has, um, yeah, if, if your dog is reactive to other dogs yes. or if you're concerned because there are so many people out on the street right now mm -hmm. um, that the distraction might make your dog pull more on the leash than normal. Yeah. One of the best tips you can do is have a high value treat with you at all times because your treats are going to most times be a higher distraction if you catch it at the right time than something that's going on in the environment. So um, that's the pro tip of the day. Okay. It's always have treats on you. <laughs> and we were talking before the show and I really wanted to get your input on this. I, I do have an aging boxer. He's 14, he's deaf, his hips are starting to, to go a little bit. What are some of the things I can do to just to continue to give him a good quality of life at his so age? There are, lots, there are lots of things you can do and there are some parallels even though dogs are carnivores and us, we as humans are omnivores. We do share a lot um, as far as uh, anatomically. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do, first of all, is keep him moving. Um, you know, as the body is moving, you're keeping circulation going, you're keeping the synovial, the fluid around the joints moving. Um, you can also, there are so many great things you can find on YouTube right now about um, uh, passive range of motion, where mm -hmm. you can actually help your dogs um, with their range of motion, you can do stretching that will help again with inflammation. It will help keep the blood flowing to the area, keep all of the um, joint fluids going. And then I also encourage you to have a conversation with your veterinarian about supplements. You know, glucose meaning chondroitin works synergistically to help um, with the articular cartilage and the health. There's um, MSM, hyaluronic acid. There's all of these great supplements that you can add that will really um, help ease pain, help with mobility, um, relieve some stiffness. And then I always feel that when you get to be with the senior dogs, you always want to increase their protein content. Right. Protein is really um, the macronutrient that dogs um, get their energy from right. and thrive on. It's the building block of you know uh, muscles and tissues and okay. cartilage. So increase the protein content as well. Um, and, and that's in a nutshell, <laughs> all the things that I would be doing. Jonna, thank you so much. Jonna Devereaux, and can you give me the name of your uh, website again, please? Yes, thank you, bowwowlabs.com. And you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at well, as well at bowwowlabs. All right, you're gonna see safetyman.co following you in about five seconds. So thank you for all that information. And my dog, Cyrus, I'm gonna thank you for from him right now, because I'm gonna start taking some of those pieces of advice. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back after this.